Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic Stream API with Collector Class Methods in Java 8. So this Stream API is java.util.stream package. So first of all coming to stream api so from java 8 version we got a new package and the package name is java.util.stream so what is the use of this stream api api means library so using this library we can filter we can collect we can print we can sort we can iterate and we can convert one collection of data to another collection of data with respect to data structure so mainly streams work with collection of data and performing operations on such data and this api provides methods in different classes and interfaces which are mainly accepting functional interfaces as input parameter so functional interface means we have to redefine the abstract method using lambda expression or using a method reference so what is the basic definition of a stream so stream means flow of data from source to destination in a java program so here source can be collection or collection of data or an array or it is a input output channel from that we are going to take the source and on this taking the source we call it as flow of data stream so on this stream we are going to apply different operations or manipulations and then finally that manipulated data will be taken as destination and that destination is also a stream so here coming to the stream api with collectors class method so basically on streams which is collection of data in simple words to understand we can use collectors class and its methods to perform mathematical operations easily so mathematical operations means sum average count etc so for this we have to use collect method which is available in stream interface right so if we see the description of the stream interface java p hyphen public java dot util dot stream stream interface so in the stream interface we have collect method okay so this collect method it takes collector not collectors collector object as input parameter and then it will return a value of the collected or data which is available in the stream and that return type can be any type it can be primitive data type it can be an array it can be an object or it can be a collection of object so we are going to use this collect method which takes collector object as input parameter okay so now coming to collectors so collector is separate collectors is separate so collectors so it is also available in stream package so in collectors class it is a final class we have some methods to work with mathematical computational operations so those methods goes like this okay so for example we have summing int which takes two int function functional interface as input parameter and it, it is going to return a collector object similarly summing long it takes 
too long function functional interface as input parameter and returns a collector object similarly summing double it takes a functional interface to double function as input parameter and returns a collector right so similarly we have averaging int averaging long averaging double so all these six methods they return collector object as return type so it will continuously perform operation on our stream data summing of data in a string summing of long numbers double numbers averaging etc and this is a static method so static method means we can use this directly with class name so all these are static methods okay so collectors dot summing int so we have to use this as an input parameter to collect method of stream interface it will perform sum of elements in our stream which is collection of data and returns that as a collector object okay and this collect method it will return that collector object as a return type of your specific data type or array or object or collection of object type right so here summing int it takes a functional interface to int function as input parameter so if we see the description of to int function which belongs to function package it contains only one abstract method hence it is a functional interface apply as int so it will take our value as input parameter and converts that as int similarly so to long function so here you'll have apply as long it will take our value as input parameter and returns that as long similarly to double function so it will take our value as input parameter and returns that as double so let us try to use this combination of collect with collectors class static methods summing int long double averaging int long double and basically we use stream api in three steps so take the source of elements as a stream apply operations on the stream which contains elements and finally collect or display the new data which is available in the stream right so now basically collections so java collections java dot util dot collection so in collection interface which is a top level interface in collection package util package from java 8 stream method is introduced which returns a object reference of stream and on the stream we are going to use collect method and for this collect method we are going to pass collectors dot static method all these things which returns collector object and this collector object is an input parameter to the collect method which returns data as a single primitive data type or any other data type right so let us try to implement this with a small program java stream api example 5 so now let us take a new page so first we'll write comments at the beginning of the program so we'll use java.util.stream package to work with stream api stream interface and also java.util package to work with java collection of objects so on this java collection of objects we are going to apply the stream and its manipulations so take a student class three data members roll number name marks 
so we are taking a student class constructor with three input parameters roll number name marks and initialize them in the constructor this dot roll number this dot name this dot marks next let us take main class with main method and save this program in our working directory so i'm creating an object of array list of student type and then i'm taking five student objects s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 1001 1002 3 4 5 now five students s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 i'm adding it to the student list which is of type array list or list add them into the array list now let us calculate total marks of all the students which is 86 plus 95 plus 65 plus 72 plus 60 how so on student list which is the array list or list or collection type so on this collection type i'm applying stream method so it returns a stream object now on this stream object we are calling collect okay and collect method takes collector object as input parameter so for collector object as input parameter we are using collectors class dot static method summing int and for this summing int we have to pass okay functional interface so what is the summing int functional interface as input parameter so two int function so in two int function we have a abstract method apply as int so it will take our input parameter marks and returns that as a integer so so the input parameter is student object okay it is a student object and this student object okay we are taking as student dot marks so the input parameter is student object and returning student dot marks so this student dot marks will be repeatedly performed using some int so first object marks plus second object marks third object marks fourth object marks and five object marks total s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 marks object and returns that as a so summing int it returns that as a collector object so this collector object as an input parameter to the collect method okay and returns that as a total marks okay so you can take this total max as integer because we don't have any floating value in student marks and finally print student marks as i mean summation of all the student marks as total marks right so come to the command prompt right so compile the program java stream api example 5 using collectors class method collectors and it returns a collector object to the collect method input parameter and collect method returns that summing value as a integer so the sum is 378 so for our understanding we'll make 62 siri so save it recompile the program and then run it so now the sum should be 380 so previously 378 now 380 so this is how we are supposed to work with stream api with collectors class methods and this we are going to use it as a input parameter to collect method which is available in stream interface thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub 
have a nice day.